Hi everyone and welcome to the Book Refuge. We are doing my next Choose From My Haul. So um, we ran, I ran into this little thing where I actually skipped a month and didn't buy any books a year ago. Cause you know, if you're new to this video, I have a lot of new subscribers recently. Thank you, so happy you're here. This is the interactive video that I do once a month where my viewers get to vote in a poll, which will be up there about which book from a haul last year that I purchased a year ago but haven't gotten to yet and you guys get to pick one that you want me to read a little sooner. The book that gets the lowest votes, usually I will then um, get rid of it because I have almost 800 books now in my home library and half of them aren't read because um, if I don't like the book, I get rid of it, otherwise I keep it and I tend to like a lot of books, so I own a lot of books. So this is just a way of me like pushing some books to the top um, and it's been pretty successful so far. I, I've done this, I think this is the sixth month I'll be doing it, maybe, maybe. And I've liked like four out of the six. It's been really great. I've only DNF'd one and one of them I didn't like that much, but it's been really great. Um, but anyway, so I actually last September didn't buy anything, which is a surprise. <laughs> so there's one from October that has a ton in it that I hadn't read. Um, cause that's when I started changing up how I do haul videos. So instead of like last month, I put two polls and you picked two books for me to read, which I, um, haven't started yet, but it's only the 10th of August right now. So I have time. I am going to do October's in two different ones, um, because I'm going to be participating in the Hogwarts house battles. I think you can still join that. Um, you can find it on Twitter that it is at Hogwarts house battles. Um, it's going to be really fun. Team Gryffindor is, doesn't have very many people on it because a lot of readers are like Ravenclaws and Slytherins, um, which is funny to me. I like that. Um, so if you're, especially if you're a Gryffindor and you want to do a fun read along, definitely check it out. I'm really excited about it, but I just can't add any more to that TBR um, because there's quite a few on it. So I'm only going to pick one. So without further ado, I'll go over five of the books. I will also link the original haul down below and it has like 40 books in it. A lot of which I've either gotten rid of by now or I've already read. And so there was 10 books on there that I hadn't read and I have the first five right here. Um, yeah, and you can go ahead and skip to the poll right now. If you haven't, you can just go ahead and pick one. But if you wanna hear what I have to say about it, I'll do that now. So the first one on there, um, which actually works out really well because I purchased three of her books and I've read the other ones. So I have The Book of Life by Deborah Harkness. This is the third book in the All Souls trilogy. I read the other two uh, at the beginning of this year. No, that wouldn't be right. Cause I bought this last year. So I read those last year. I really love the first one. The second one I struggled to get through. Um, and this book, I actually tried to start it a little while ago, but it didn't happen. And then it ended up being in the, in that TBR. So I thought that'd be good. Um, I really want to finish this trilogy out. It's just a matter of if you guys want me to do it this month, or if you guys don't care to hear about this one, and you can pick one of these other ones, but I do want to get to this soon. Maybe I'll read it in October because this is a witchy, in case you don't know about this series, this, is A Discovery of Witches, it's in this world where there are demons, humans, vampires, and witches, and all of the magical creatures are starting to go extinct. And there is this book called um, Akamol 347 or 247, 782. Um, Ashmole that is supposed to have about how to create more witches, vampires, and demons who are like going extinct. And there's this one witch named Diana who uh, is the only person who's able to locate the book. And that was the setup in the first one. And so this one vampire named Matthew Claremont, D. Claremont, wow, I'm forgetting the names, he is drawn to her because of that power she has and they end up falling in love. So a witch and a vampire fall in love. This series the first one was so good. Like it was so cool to be back in a series where like it was, it just brought me back to like my teen years because I read a lot of witch and vampire books. So it'd be really fun to use me, but uh, only if you guys want me to right now. Then, um, and the sequel is already out for this one. That's the case for a lot of these because I take so long, but I really want 
to read this one. And this is called Child of a Mad God by R.A. Salvatore. I've never read an R.A. Salvatore book. I picked this one up because it was a new series that, um, is it a her or he, that he was starting. I didn't even know that. Um, and I, I know he has some other like series where there's a ton of books in them and I just wanted to start a new series. But I know, I think this one is about a child who, which <laughs> it's called a child of the mad dad, who has some special powers and they're trying to like hunt her down and use her for her powers. And I just wasn't as into as like high of fantasy a year ago. Um, but anyway, I think this one would be really cool. It's not too huge, not any bigger than anything else I read. And I know the sequel is out already too, so. But anyway, this could be a good option. Next, I have Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rush. I purchased this because when I got These Rebel Waves, which was her new series, which These Rebel Waves is on my TBR this month, or for August, because you guys picked that one last month, and I found the whole trilogy on Book Outlet. They were like $3 each. Um, but I haven't read this one yet. Um, so I don't even know literally what it's about. I just know it's a trilogy. I have all three books. Um, if you've read this one and it's really exciting to you, please let me know or vote for this one because it seems cool. And I'd love to read a short little like YA trilogy again. I haven't read a nice simple YA trilogy in a long time. So I'd be totally up for it. Next is one that I heard so many mixed things about. Um, and I've never read a book by this author, so this would be fun. I have um, War Cross by Marie Lu. Um, this is the cool, like, silver cover that came out. And I know the sequel to this one is out already, too. Um, this book I know is about, I knew what this one about. This is about a teen hacker who she gets hired by this game creator to, is it to, like, be a I'm not sure what she does for him, but I know that it has to do with this like game that he created. Um, and I don't know any more about that, but it seems really interesting. I've heard, like I said, really mixed reviews, but this would be my first Marie Lou. I had Legend on here previously and nobody ever voted for Legend. So we'll give this one a chance to be the one you guys pick. If you've read this, let me know why you loved it so much. Um, this could be good. This also has some diversity in it since I think they're both... Well, the, it doesn't say, but I think this is own voices, but I'm not sure. But anyway, let me know. And then finally, I doubt this one will get picked because I just know my viewers, but I have the entire Disney Twisted Sales collection and these ones keep getting passed over because nobody cares if I read these or not, but there was actually two of these this month. So there's one in this poll and there'll be one in the poll for September too, or October because this is for September um but this is reflection it's a twisted tale um this one is what if Mulan had to go to the underworld this is by Elizabeth Lim and I thought this could be cool um but yeah this one has Shang in it but Shang has a great lion guardian this time that's really cool but I think it would be fun. I really want to get into the Disney Twisted Tales. They don't have super great ratings, but I think that's because people don't like people changing their favorite stories. But I love fairy tale retellings, so I wonder what, like, Twisted Tales would be like, you know, as a difference. So, who knows? But anyway, I talked way too much for this video. But these are the five books that will be in the poll for September. So please go ahead and click the poll up there if you haven't already. Also, I would like to know, I'm going to put a second question up there. Would you be interested in like buddy reading this with me? If anyone would like to, um, if you, you know, have, you know, if the book you want to buddy read with me wins, would you be interested in that? I feel like it could really help me, you know, stay focused on reading it because I love doing buddy reads. Um, so let me know if, you would like to and then of course which one you'd like to because if the book you pick doesn't win maybe you don't want to do it because a couple of, you know one of these is a sequel but anyway let me know um and yeah i put up new videos every monday and thursday for now i'm probably going to go back to three videos soon because i'm getting a hang of my new schedule and also i miss posting so much like when you only post twice a week i don't know 
it was harder than I thought it would be. But thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out as a really tiny booktuber for like, you know, more people to know your name and come to you for things. And of course, let me know if there are any video ideas that you'd like to see. I'm totally into making kind of whatever you guys want me to. I'd love it. So thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon.